In this video, I just want to expand a little bit on Subaru line boring. Um, I've got a block here that uh, I could measure plus five thou on number four main. Uh, number two was about three thou, uh, so I definitely need line boring. Um, I've shown in the video before how I do it. This is uh, this is how I center the the block in the in the machine. I've got a tense indicator that I uh, run on the top and the bottom main, get them perfectly centered within less than half a thou anyway. Um, anyway, I've, I've taken a cut here um, and I'm still eight thousandths, seven thousandths away from final final dimension, but I just wanted to show um, something interesting. This is the, as you can see, see where it's uh, a little shinier spot in the middle. That's where I've, you know, I've taken a cut. Because this hole is smaller than the original dimension because I've shaved six thousandths off each case half. Um, they're still not the size, so it's you know, it's split evenly between the, the two halves. Which I'm just showing you that the, the boring bar is centered. I'm going down to the bottom. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to show it, but there's the bottom main. You can see the same thing. Equal amounts on, on each case half. Because the front and the in the the front and the rear, they really don't wear like like the center or two and four do. Um, now I'm going to come to number four. Let me see, I'm not sure the camera. Here we go. Again, you can see see where it's you can see where the cutter is cut in the center of the journal there on this side. Now I'm going to the other side. hasn't touched it. hasn't even haven't hasn't even touched the journal at all and we're seven thou from from finished size and that's that's one of the problems with Subaru cases now number two in this case actually behaved pretty well it's it's, it's you can see how much I've taken a cut there I'll go to the other side it's, it's about the same amount normally four will go one direction to the other didn't happen this time but you can see how much wear has happened on just one case half so if you measure your block and it's it's two thou big, it can be two thou big all on one side. So if you you know you're, you're matching, you get one under bearings. Um, you're you're not making the main line straight. This is why I really advocate for the the plus five thousand oversized king bearings. I don't even need to cut the case halves to line bore for the five thou over bearings. I can you can just send it to me torqued up. I'll put it on the machine, put the deck plates on it bore it to plus five and you've got perfectly straight bores. When you mix and match, you're, you're not, even though you're measuring a clearance of, you know, a thou and a half, uh, one side of that crank could have two thou, the other side a half a thou. Uh, it's just the nature of, of these things. I just wanted to show that little demonstration. This block demonstrated it perfectly.